to show you how to make Creative Kiwi's large llama applique and for that I'm going to be using my 5x7 hoop I'm using one colour thread throughout some masking tape, my squizzers and my fabrics and batting cut to size and the fabric that I'm using today is fleece as always in the video description you'll find a link to the design as well as to Creative Kiwi's Facebook group links to where I get my supplies from so if you're wondering where my squizzers come from there will be a link in there for you also there is a discount code for sim thread should you wish to try it and that is valid until the 8th of February next year and you can use it as often as you like start off by hooping your two layers of wash away stabilizer and I like to pin around the top edge of my hoop to stop my stabiliser from being pulled down between the two hoop pieces so take your pin, rest it on, the top, uh, on top of your hoop push it through, bring it back round and that now firmly anchors your stabiliser Load file A into your machine and it is important to stitch these in the right order otherwise it's not going to work. And then you're going to stitch round number one and that's going to give you your batting placement outline. Place your batting over the outline and tape it in place. Pop your hoop into your machine and stitch round number two to secure it. Trim away the excess batting from around the edge of the stitch line. You can now place your fabric over the outline and tape it in place. Pop your hoop back into your machine and stitch round number three. Round number four is the placement outline for the heart fabric. So if you don't want to add the heart, you can skip this colour. Otherwise, stitch round number four. Place your fabric scrap for the heart over the outline and then tape it in place. You can now pop your hoop back into your machine and stitch round number five. Again, if you're not doing the heart, you would skip this colour. Trim up the excess fabric from around the heart. Load whichever colour thread you want for the satin stitching around the edge of the heart into your machine and then you're going to stitch round number six. If you're not doing the heart, again, skip this colour. You're now going to add the backing, so turn your hoop over and place your fabric over the outline and then tape it in place. You're now going to pop that back into your machine and stitch round number seven. If you're making this reversible I suggest that you put a matching bobbin and thread in your machine now so that it's ready for when we come to do the next round. now going to trim up the excess fabric from both front and back of your hoop so turn your hoop over
If you have, if you are making this reversible, then you're going to add a matching bobbin to your top thread into your machine, and then you're going to stitch round number eight. If you're not making this reversible, then it doesn't matter. You don't need to change your bobbin. So that's the body of our llama completed. We can now remove it from the hoop. So I just turn it over and then cut round the edge, taking care obviously not to cut the stitching. We're now going to trim up around the neckline here because that's going to be our join onto the next piece. So we're just going to trim really close to the stitch line. And that's our first piece completed. As before, you're going to hoop and pin your two layers of wash away stabilizer. And then you're going to load your file uh, for the head into your machine and then stitch round number one to give you your placement outline for the batting. Place your batting over the outline. I'm using scraps here. I'm just going to cut these down a little bit, they're a bit long. And then tape them in place. Pop your hoop back into your machine and stitch round number two to secure it. Trim away the excess batting. Place your fabric over the outline and tape it in place. Pop your hoop back into your machine and stitch round number three to secure it. Change your thread to whichever colour you want for the inside of the ears and the muzzle and then you're going to stitch round number four. Load whichever colour you want for the eyes, nose and mouth into your machine and then you're going to stitch round number five. going to add your backing fabric so turn your hoop over place your fabric over the outline and tape it in place pop your hoop back into your machine and stitch round number six to secure it trim up the excess fabric from both the back and front of your hoop so turn your hoop over now going to pop your hoop back into your machine and stitch round number seven and that's going to zigzag 
around the edge here and it's going to stop where you need to join the next your previous piece to this one you're now going to join your first piece to this one and you want to make sure that this stitch line here sits on top of this stitch line here between where the zigzagging ends and then you're going to pin it in place now make sure you keep your pins right out of the way of the stitch line which is going to come through here and I'm just going to add a little bit of tape here just to hold that down and flat you might want to slow your machine down for the next round which is round number eight and that's going to zigzag along here to join the two parts you're now going to remove your hoop and check your join make sure that there's no fabric poking out this side of the stitch line if there is unpick it and stitch round number eight again if your join is fine then you're going to stitch round number nine so make sure you've got a matching bobbin and thread in your machine if you're doing it reversible you're now going to free this from the hoop so turn your hoop over and trim around the edge that remains for us to do is to remove the excess wash away stabilizer from around the edge so I've got a, a glass of warm water a cotton bud and you're just going to dip it in and wipe it along the edge and that will dissolve the remaining um, stabilizer that's poking out around the edge And that's our llama finished. Hope you enjoyed this stitch along. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to be notified of new videos as they're published. Do pop along to Creative Kiwi's Facebook group. There's lots of ideas, help and inspiration there for everybody. And thank you very much for joining me. Please stay safe.